Hello, this person here is me and I got a chance to have a conversation with Yadin Bandia sir about a curious question I had regarding his theory about Indian food and architecture. By the end of this video, you will surely have a new perspective. So let's hop on to the observation of Indian food and architecture. The presentation started with pointing out some thoughts around how buildings nowadays has lost its character. All buildings feels like they are in some same universal context, unlike how it used to be. As seen in vernacular architecture, buildings used to be a representative of their culture, context and climate. Then the presentation slowly transitioned into something very interesting. It shifted towards Indian food and how it is example of a good design. Imagine that a thali is served to you and your friend. When both of you will take a bite, the taste you'll get would be uniquely yours for both. The taste will depend on the scale, proportion and combination you choose in thali. In this way, you are designer of your taste. You are designer of your bite. The thali is served to you and your friend is the same, made by same cook and served in same way also. Still, you will make it uniquely yours. The taste would be uniquely yours. And then sir said that even though he loved the taste of pizza, but he do get bored of it because it's way too uniform. And when I heard this, this particular portion made me think and got me curious to ask a question. After presentation summed up, I headed towards sir with my thoughts about this and finally described my question. Isn't pizza a piece of craft? that you get the same taste throughout and whatever context you go you step in for that exact taste a genius process of mass production so this was my question to sir and which sir replied say pizza or a cake i love that taste i feel like finishing it in one go but i can't Due to same taste repeating again and again, even if I had hunger left, I can't finish the whole dish. And there is a way you can cater to mass. Poor houses, if you see, they have been catered to mass. On a surface level, you will find it uniform. But when you notice the elements of these houses, like doors and brackets, they would be different and uniquely theirs just like Indian Thali and I was like oh this is very interesting perspective then I realized well we all are different just like each other biologically on a surface level we all are human so we all will have some similarities and individually we all have different preferences and to design is to balance balance all minerals and vitamins just like a good movie not so monotonous falling in some category catering different emotions and if you see rrr movie which is worldwidely uh, getting appreciated it's because of that it caters to many different emotions in the same movie and you can give certain controls to users to make it uniquely theirs just like netflix does with their some movies a collaborative approach to design where you can and where you can't you cater to variations and similarities with a balance and if you have seen project by baby doshi of aranya low cost housing then you might get the idea pretty well about how it is catered to mass while making it uniquely theirs After talking about food this much, it made me remind of a story which Lee Corbusier told Baby Doshi about dogs. That's for the next video. Thank you for your time. Meet you in another one. Till then, okay.